Creating animations for your faceless YouTube channel has never been easier. Thanks to powerful AI video generators like Clean AI, which in my opinion is one of the best out there right now. But here's the thing. Most people have no idea how to actually use it to get the results they want. So in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to unlock Kling's full potential step by step so you can start creating stunning animations just like this. Let's get started. First things first, log into Kling AI. If you don't have an account yet, I'll leave a link in the description so you can sign up and you are also provided with free credit to try it out. Once you're in, you'll see the main dashboard. We will be focusing on the video generator, so click that. Once the video generator page opens, you'll notice a dropdown that allows you select the model you want to use. For the sake of this tutorial and all that we will cover, we will use Clean 1.6 model. Underneath that, you have text to video, image to video, multi elements. By the left is the window that houses the images, videos and audios you have created before or it will be blank if you haven't created anything before. You also have favorites and assets folders. We'll start with multi elements. This feature is only available with Kling 1.6 model, so you are aware. Once you click on the tab, you have swap. Used for switching characters in a video. Add, used to add a character or an object to the video. Delete, used to erase a character or object from a video, starting with the swap feature. I will use this video clip, click on the multi elements button and the page opens up and ask for the image you'd like to change. Use the add selection to select the image of choice. In this case, the lady, click preview full selected area to be sure everything about the character is selected. Once satisfied, then confirm. Upload the image you want to swap with. I want to use this lady and select the subject, then confirm, modify the prompt to state what you are replacing with what and generate. This is the result. It looks really good. Next is the add feature. I will be using this video where the couple is running in the forest. I will click on the multi element and just confirm without any selection. Then under the add tab, upload the image you want to add to the scene. In this case is the image of this gorilla. Then in the prompt section, modify the prompt to mention what you need to add. That's the gorilla. And I added at the end, chasing the man and woman, then click on generate generate. This is the result. And finally, the delete feature, I will be using the video where the man and the woman are being chased by a dragon and they are using a zip line. I will click on the edit icon and select the character I want to remove. That's the man. Then confirm. In the prompt, write in the bracket the character you want to delete and click on generate. This is the final result. The next feature we will be looking at is text to video because it's the easiest way to get instant results. Now here's where most people go wrong. They type in three days Pixar style animation of a young girl walking in the field with his dad. Both are holding hands in the prompt box here and wonder why the results looks bad. The secret you Use what I call the five part cinematic prompt template. One, subject who is in the scene, include age, relationship, gender, clothing, art style, for example, Pixar, anime, low poly, and key features. Two, action. What are they doing? Focus on body movement, interaction, or emotional cues. Three, environment. Where is the scene set? Describe the location using rich sensory detail, time of day, weather, terrain, background objects. Four, lighting and mood. What's the mood? Include lighting type, golden hour, soft morning, moody night, color palette, and emotional atmosphere. Five, camera style. How is it filmed or framed? Add cinematic direction, tracking shot, aerial view, close up, wide angle, over the shoulder, etc. Let me show you an example. 
a young girl and her father rendered in vibrant 3D Pixar style animation with expressive eyes and soft textures walk hand in hand through a sunlit field dotted with wildflowers. Warm golden hour lighting bathes the rolling hills as the camera tracks their silhouettes against a cotton candy sky, capturing their joyful smiles and the nostalgic atmosphere of childhood bonding. That's how you guide Kling to deliver stunning results. To even make it easier for you, make use of deep seek inspiration and preset tabs made available. This is how it works. Click on deep seek, type in what you are thinking of creating. You can even upload a reference image and deep seek will create a refined and detailed prompt you can use. In addition, you can use the preset to add desired camera movement or create a preset you use all the time. To really elevate your videos, use these advanced settings negative prompts. Use this to avoid common AI mistakes. Add terms like blurry, pixelated, distorted hands, glitchy movement, jerky camera, low quality, disfigurement, warped. It tells clean exactly what not to include, keeping your final video sharp and clean. Professional mode, always turn this on. It uses more credits, but the upgrade in texture, lighting, and realism is 100% worth it. You also get the opportunity to create a video between five seconds to 10 seconds, creativity slider, want full control, move it toward relevance, want clean to get creative, push toward creativity. For a balanced output, leave it at 0.5. Let's generate a new video and see how it turns out. This looks good. Now let's move on to image to video. This is perfect if you already have a reference image and want to animate it, which a lot of you will be doing. Click on the frames tab and upload your image. Let's say I use this photo of a young man lifting up his female lover and both are laughing. Here's a good prompt. The male lover carries his girlfriend up, spinning her around in slow motion as both laugh through a vibrant street lined with colorful floral pattern buildings, lanterns swaying above as the camera circles them amidst bustling crowds and festive golden hour warmth. Choose the appropriate advanced setting like we just discussed and generate the video. You're turning a still photo into a living moment, add camera movement plus atmospheric changes and it is pure magic. This looks really good. What if you want an end frame? That is, you want the video to start from one image and end in one image. You can add a second image in the end box. Once that is added, I use Deep Seek to generate this prompt. The couple looks at each other with love as the male lover carries his girlfriend up, spinning her around in slow motion as both laugh through a vibrant street lined with colorful floral patterned buildings, lanterns swaying above as the camera circles them amidst bustling crowds and festive golden hour warmth. The result is cool and cinematic. Now let's talk about this feature elements. This lets you combine characters and backgrounds from different images, like placing a person into a new scene, upload three images, two character images and one background image, then describe the interaction. Example, 3D animated couple dressed in colorful and orange sweaters with blue jeans walks hand in hand down the lonely street lined with floral patterned buildings and floating lanterns. Golden hour light bathes the scene as potted plants dot the sidewalks and the camera tracks their joyful stroll in the warm, festive atmosphere. Kling stitches it all together seamlessly. It's like doing a green screen shoot without a camera. The only challenge I find with this feature is that it tends to turn these images I created with ChatGPT 4.0 into realistic images when they are 3D animations. Aside from that, the combining feature of Kling works you can also make the characters in the video talk for just 10 seconds using the Kling's built-in lip sync feature. This is how it works. Select the video you want to use. You can either type a text and choose the provided voice or you can upload your own voiceover file. Once that is done, go ahead to generate the lip synced version of the video. It will take a couple of minutes and this is the final result. If you haven't liked this video, kindly do so and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And that's how you master clean AI in just 10 minutes.
From photorealistic scenes to animated characters and lip-synced voices, Kling gives you Hollywood-level tools without the budget. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more AI tutorials, grab your free Kling credits in the description below. And if you want to see where I used Kling to create a viral AI music animation video, check out this video and I will see you there.